Hello everyone, Victor Momo from Excel Moments and it's been a moment. Let's start off the year you know, with what I call a star rating chart. Of course, we're just back from like the holidays, vacation seasons, where I didn't have any of those two. But, you know, when you're going on vacation, typically you're checking, you know, where do I stay, hotels, what are the ratings, looking at the reviews. I thought to myself, I was like, oh, well. This would be nice, you know, to visually represent in Excel. Uh, and I'm not sure this is something people may have done like, you know, years and years ago. But as we say in this part of the world, whenever you wake up, you know, that's your morning. So I will say good morning <laughs> to myself. So that's what I want to show you in this video. When you look at what you have on the screen, it doesn't look like this is a chart. It just looks like maybe a static image. But this is what happens when you press, you know, F9, you know, to kind of randomize and you start seeing it move around and you're like, okay, Victor, this does look like whatever visual this is, is tied, you know, to that table. And I know the question on everybody's mind, it's always the same, which is how did you do this? And that's exactly what I'm going to show you in this video. So let me just come to, you know, a plain one here and kind of start it off from scratch. When I thought about this, the first thing I thought about was to use the rept function, which is repeat, which allows you to repeat a particular text, you know, a couple of times and um, can allow you to create some in cell, you know, type visualization, which can be very cool. So let's say we want to do that in here, you know, I could come here and say, you know, repeat and I want to repeat. In this case, I'm using a star to represent the rating. So if I have a rating of three, I need three stars. So I put it in double quotes because it says a text. I could use windows and period to call up, you know, my emojis and just type that I need a star. But I already have one here. So I select that. Okay. And then I close the double quotes and I say repeat that star, you know, this number of times. So if it's three times, repeat it three times and so on. Okay. So good. Because it's random, you know, it keeps changing. But what you realize is here, where you have like a 3.5, you only see three stars. You know, where you have 4.5 here, you only see four stars. So it's not able to give you, you know, half a star. Uh, so if we strictly had, you know, whole numbers, you know, integers, maybe, you know, this would be fine. But I mean, this already gives you something, you know, to play around with. So that's why I thought to say, okay, well, maybe if you had like a chart, which could actually respect the actual values, you know, in the cell, maybe that may give you, you know, a better result. So let me show you, you know, what I then did. Okay. Which... I'll just select for now, you know, the first two columns, right? So the name of the hotel and the rating. I go to insert. I could use recommended charts. Yeah, and that's the chart I want really, which is the clustered bar chart. So I do okay. Okay. So and yeah, you're like, oh, Victor, so where do we go from here? So one thing you also realize is that for every series in a chart, you know, you can actually change, you know, how it's represented. You could change it to an image. You know, you could change it basically to anything. Probably a trick I learned like years ago, I think from one of Bob Omlas's books or so, right? So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to insert, you know, a star. A couple of ways, you know, to get the star. Um, I showed you one which was using Windows period. You could also have done maybe insert, you know, and symbol. You know, you probably see like a star if you kind of check in windings. Um, you could also do insert and icons. You know, I'm sure you have a star in there. Uh, I'm pretending like I don't know, but of course I know because I've used it. <laughs> so when you say star, so okay, we have one here. And then, right, so that's the star. Oh, okay, no, so that's something that I shouldn't do, which is have the chat selected while doing that. So I'm going to come out of here and then insert icons. Somebody will expect me to erase that part of the video i won't so you can learn something from that okay so insert right so put that here so i'm going to change the color of this so under graphics format i can just change the feel and say oh, i want to use you know a red feel so this is what i'm going to do i'm just going to copy that and then i select you know the series i want and i say Control v which is paste basically that changes you know the representation of that series so that's what you see so you see that that series is now represented by stars the only thing i see as a problem here is that it's stretching things out and i'm like no i would want to have one star for a rating of one three stars for a rating of three so this is what you see whenever you know you use either a picture a texture feel you have a particular option that really helps you so if you go to format data series and you go to you know fields and lines you know you see in there once you have like I said, picture, texture view. You see the option we have selected here is stretch. That's the reason why it looks the way it looks. You know, you could also use what? Stack. So now when you use stack, you see that it's kind of neater, you know, giving you um, a certain number of stars. 
challenge with this is i'm like i have ratings one to five why do i have this many stars i will want one star to represent you know a rating of one and so on so with that in mind i will do stack and scale width so here it's saying that one unit per picture so basically as in if you have a rating of three you know you're gonna have three stars and you know this kind of pretty much you know answers some part of it there are a few things that you need to do in terms of cleaning up one maybe or you want to get rid of you know the grid lines you know so it doesn't look like a chart you know get rid of uh, you know the axis now if there's um, anybody who is paying attention you probably notice that the categories you know in my mind i reverse order right because here i have the comfort in but you see that the comfort in is at the bottom here and going up that way so because i'm seeing a rating of four here and i'm seeing one star i'm like what's going on okay so i need to reverse you know the category order so select you know the axis we come in here on the axis options let's expand the axis options and you see here categories in reverse order okay so now you can see that this is fine let's expand this a little just increase the font all right so now it's kind of looking you know like it and it's matching what you see you know in the table there's just one more thing i think i probably would you know do if you look at this you know side by side what i have in here what you notice on this one is that for every of those hotels i have five stars either way Okay, but one thing I do is that if it then has a rating of three, then it's like you now have a fill, you know, a red fill for those three, and then you have two unfilled stars. Unlike this one here, you know, where if it's just three stars, you only see three stars. And you can also see that this respects, you know, the half. So this is like a 2.5. So what I need to do is I want to add another series that will be the five stars so that there would always be five stars. But depending on the rating, then, you know, you have a certain portion of the field. So that will be another series in itself. Okay. So what I can do is that for my charts here, as you can see, this is what I have, you know, as part of my series. I can right click the chart, add series, but I typically like to just expand it if I can do it this way, especially when they are contiguous. So what you now see is that this column has been added to my chart. This column just has a starting number of 555 five, five everywhere, which is, you know, the overall rating. And we're going to convert that into stars as well. But for that one, we need white stars. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to select this, duplicate, control D here. I go back to graphics options, you know, and for this one, I will say graphics outline. I choose a black and then for the graphics field, I will say I don't want any fill. So it just looks something like this. I repeat the same process. I copy, you know, I select this series and I do control V. Okay. So same thing. We need to go scale it, right? So if you go into fields and lines, you go and you just do what stack and scale with. Okay. So now we have, you know, what we want. You see five stars, you know, everywhere. But next thing you want to do is you want to create, you know, an overlap between the two of them. So it creates that illusion that is just what one series. Okay. So you can go in still on your series options and here where we have series and overlaps, I'm just basically going to say, okay, overlap fully, right? Which is like a hundred percent. Sometimes trying to get this, I could just type it in there. Right. So now that's that. Uh, there seems to be like this problem, right? Yeah, nothing really. It's just the fact that my series are in reverse order. So I could right click the chart. Of course, there's a faster way to fix that. But well, <laughs> and then I say, oh, here, and then I move this up. Okay, right. So basically, that's it. So now you see that we have, you know, five stars all the way, and depending on the rating, you know, it's kind of filled that way. So let's just randomize it a little and see that, you know, it kind of respects it. Okay, so the only other thing I think I did was play around with the font and then also put like a little background feel, you know, for the chat. But it doesn't look like a chat, it just looks like a static, you know, visual in some sense. But when you then randomize the numbers, that kind of works. So I think it's an excellent way, you know, to start the year. If you like this video, please do hit the like, you know, button. If you haven't subscribed to the channel, please do subscribe. You know, and I'll be back with more videos this year, definitely. So for now, I'm out.